Scientists, including Carnegie's Linda Elkins Tanton, have found evidence that may help explain the largest mass extinction in Earth's history. Around 250 million years ago, at the end of the Permian Geological Period, there was a mass extinction so severe that it remains the most dramatic known species die-off in Earth's history. It saw the sudden loss of more than 90% of marine species and more than 70% of terrestrial species. The fossil record suggests that ecological diversity did not fully recover until several million years after the main pulse of the extinction. This suggests that environmental conditions remained inhospitable for an extended period of time. Although the cause of this event is a mystery, it has been speculated that the eruption of a large swath of volcanic rock in Russia, called the Siberian Traps, was a trigger for the extinction. New research from Carnegie's Linda Elkins Tanton and her co-authors offers insight into how this volcanism could have contributed to drastic deterioration in the global environment of the period. Gases released as a result of Siberian magmatism could have caused environmental damage. For example, perhaps sulfur particles in the atmosphere reflected the sun's heat back into space, cooling the planet, or maybe chlorine and other chemically similar nonmetal elements called halogens significantly damaged the ozone layer in the stratosphere. The geology of the Siberian Traps is comprised of flood basalts, which form when giant lava eruptions coat large swaths of land or ocean floor with basaltic lava. This lava hardens into rock formations. The team investigated concentrations of sulfur, chlorine, and fluorine, called melt inclusions, that were dissolved in tiny samples of ancient magma found within basalt samples from the Siberian Traps. Based on their findings, the team estimated that between 6,300 and 7,800 gigatons of sulfur, between 3,400 and 8,700 gigatons of chlorine, and between 7,100 and 13,700 gigatons of fluorine were released from magma in the Siberian Traps during the end of the Permian period. The researchers said more research on atmospheric chemistry and climate modeling is urgently needed to determine whether these gases could have been responsible for the mass extinction. Their work is published January 9th in Earth and Planetary Science Letters. The Carnegie Institution has had over 100 years of extraordinary discoveries. To continue this tradition, Carnegie scientists need your support. For more information about this and other cool science, visit our website at carnegiescience.edu. This is John Strom.